guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual cable for uh, Linux or Ubuntu, whatever you may be using. But I'm using uh, Linux Mint for the purpose of this video. Now I'm SSH'd into it and also VNC'd into it. So one of the things we want to do is make sure we have the following here installed. And I'll throw a link uh, to the description for the, I mean, to my website for this uh, information. So we just want to make sure we have this installed here. Let me make this window a little bit bigger. And if it is, great. So with that, what we're going to do is I'm going to just launch uh, GQRX here on this Linux uh, machine here <clears throat> and I know this might be pretty small but uh, we'll try to work with it here be nice if I can change the background on this real quick so it might be a little easier to see all right, that might be a little bit better. Okay, so I have my uh, USB dongle plugged in. I'm just using a uh, RTLSDR.com dongle. Doesn't matter. We're not going to go that far anyway. But down here, we'll see we have default and the built-in audio analog. So we want to put a virtual cable there. Uh, for example, if you're running like DSD or whatever type of software that you need a virtual cable for that you want to run on Linux. So what we need to do is, and if we open up a terminal here on the on my uh, Linux machine here, if we type in basically the same thing we did, just install, as you can see, we have our inputs and outputs here but it's not showing anything virtual so we'll just close that guy so let's go back here to our SSH session and we're going to edit the pulse default uh, PA file so once we get in here if we scroll the whole way down to the bottom this is where we're going to add our line to make our virtual uh, cable. Now you'll want to make sure that this is all on one line and not two. So it may be broken half here and this might be down here on the second but you'll want to make it all one line. So anyway, we're just going to do a control X, Y and enter if you're using nano. Then with that said, we're going to go ahead and reboot. So we don't need to worry about that. But we are going to get back into it here, VNC. So we'll just <coughs> let that come back up. Alright, so now that we're logged back in here, we're just going to go ahead and search our GQ. <clears throat> RX again, open it up. And we can go ahead and open up another terminal. And we can just type in our previous command here, just for giggles. And as you can see, we have our virtual link. And if we go over here, here it is. So now we can set up a virtual cable in Linux. So hopefully this uh, helped out. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one and don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.